So now with the January transfer window slammed shut, we know how our Birmingham squad will finish. But how will they finish in the Premier League form? Starting to get a little bit ropey. So following on from the last episode, we faced Newcastle United away from home and got ourselves a 2-0 win. Mauricio Chan and Alexander Diaz with the goals in the 80th and 81st minute. It was a tight game. Next up was a hugely disappointing 0-0 draw at home against Everton. As you can see by the match stats, it was a game we did dominate. We just could not find the way through. We then hosted Bournemouth and got back to winning ways. Keiichi Goto on his official return, his first start since his injury, got himself a goal inside a minute. Alexander Diaz got a penalty spot, a penalty goal in the 24th minute. 2-0 win, 3 points. Happy days. Then we went away from home against Tottenham Hotspur and suffered a 2-0 defeat. Myron Baudo with the goal and Gonzalo Sorensen with the other four Spurs. And a game which Spurs very much deserved the win. Next up was Aston Villa at home. Kaichi Goto and Jude Bellingham with two goals, giving us a 2-0 win. And finally was a disappointing 3-1 away defeat against Norwich City. Adam Ida with two goals, Ben Goldreef with one for them. Thomas Nielsen put, did put us in front 11 minutes in, but it wasn't enough to get us any points out of this one. So the Premier League table looks like this. We do still sit in third position on 59 points after 30 games played. So only eight more games to play. But in terms of the wider picture, in terms of the series, we're only five points away from what Barnsley did last say, uh, last time we were in the Premier League. So we should, we should beat that record, really. But in terms of the micro picture, we're only... Six points clear from Arsenal in fifth position. That was a lot better, obviously, going into the Norwich game. Defeat there. Soros dropped the points. And now it is going to be a tight last eight games, which takes us to today's episode, where we will be facing Chelsea, who are currently sitting in eighth position at home. And then we will be away at 19th placed Wolves. Players have started to come back from injury, so we've got pretty much a full strength squad to be able to choose from. Jakob, our goalkeeper, will of course start in goal. It'll be the first time you see him in a live comp. Paslak, Mierda, Jose Martinez and Jesus Vazquez. Our new makeshift defence looking pretty strong. Can Neil gel quick enough to be able to secure us top four? James Garner, Mauricio Chan in the centre. Thomas Nielsen, Jude Bellingham, Alexander Diaz playing behind. Kaichi Gort or Chelsea then. Lukaku. They've got Lukaku. He's an absolute monster on footy manager. I hate him. Moussa Dembele, Bernadeschi, Ruben. It's a hugely changed side compared to what you would normally see for uh, Chelsea a few years in. Well, only the likes of Reese James, um, Ampadu. Are they the only players that start at Chelsea on the game? It might well be, unless I'm missing something incredibly obvious. They've got a great left winger as well, Ryan Cherky. We had him scouted a good couple of years ago. I think it was probably at Barnsley, but... Uh, Man City already had him at that point, so it was just a loan. Never mind, we'll move on to the game. We need we need a win. Eighth, Chelsea are at eighth. You know, they, they are one of the teams that are hunting us down. So, uh, at least not a defeat, please. And it really is mad coming into this game thinking we need a, we want a win against Chelsea for our Champions League qualification hopes. That's absolutely mental with a newly promoted side. I don't think I've ever finished in the top four in the Premier League with a newly promoted side. So, it would be a personal victory. We we'll just need to do it now. Eight games to go. It really is getting down to crunch time as the first highlight. Looks like it's going Chelsea's way. Moussa Dembele gets past Jesus Vasquez on that left-hand side. The cross is claimed by Jakob. Jude Bellingham picks up the ball. Kokichi Goto picks it up. Oh my god, this boy is just an utter legend. The Japanese assassin Kaichi Goto puts us 1-0 up. Three minutes in. His 24th goal of the season is pretty special. And it all came from that big kick up. Jude Bellingham picking up Ampadu's clearance. Keiichi Goto getting in that little bit of pocket of space. And that finishing is superb. The first half's been pretty, pretty quiet since the goal. But now 32 minutes in. We have Chelsea coming forward their left hand side. But we nip in and pinch possession. Alexander Diaz is the man who's going to drive us forward and go for goal. Ah, that, that was never going in. Looking at the first half match stats though. Things are going pretty well. We are definitely showing our chops. Chelsea not really playing very well. It's unusual to see Chelsea playing a 4-4-2. I don't think you ever say that. But there we are. Birmingham 1, Chelsea nil. That is the end of the first half. Let's kick off for the second. Corner for us. Felix Paslak is the man who's going to take it. It's cleared by Moussa Dembele. Thankfully, we keep possession through Alexander Diaz, who bombs down the left-hand side. Gets dispossessed by Bernadeschi. Slides in himself. Keiichi Goto. Oh, my God. What a save that was by Geronimo Rulli 
almost putting us two nil up the corner again. Past like president James Garner, Ard Ardern Mader, uh, Martinez, uh, we'll go Havertz clears. 55 minutes in now, we are going to make a change. Diaz is not having the greatest game on that left hand side. We want to get him off for Trio, and we're going to get Thomas Nelson off for Ferran Torres. I absolutely love having this sort of quality coming off the bench. I had no hesitation in being able to take those sort of players off and bring them on because I know quality wise we are pretty well matched in terms of the subs and the starting 11. Another corner for us is Goto taken at this time. It was aimed at Martinez Trio, but it gets cleared by Chelsea and we give the ball away really sloppily and Bernadeschi can find Gilmore on that right-hand side and pounce on a counter-attack, maybe. The ball eventually finds its way to Ferran Torres on the right-hand side. It was a good challenge by us, Greg Taylor, though, with an absolutely phenomenal challenge to stop Torres' uh, counter-attack for ourselves. Joaquin Correa now picks up the ball on the left-hand side for Chelsea. Jude Bellingham does really well to get back, but, oh, no, not like this. No, he's offside. He's offside. Nobody panic. I don't want to know who was responsible for that. Because if that counted, I would have been furious. Thankfully, we will never see the replay. Felix Paslak doing excellent work on this right-hand side, beating a couple of men. He looks like he's going to go the whole way himself. He goes for goal. Good save. <laughs> All right, really, you saved it the first time. Kaichi Goto, 78 minutes in, brings the ball down the right-hand side. There's men arriving in the box. He's tucked down by Taylor. Come on, referee. Get the... Why, why was that a highlight, please? With only four minutes or so, well, six minutes to go, Jesus Vazquez can come off for Mika Marmol, um, getting a more defensive left back in there. Should hopefully help us see out the rest of this game. But there is another highlight with four minutes to go, and it's Chelsea giving the ball away. Bellingham picks up the ball, finds Kaichi Goto, it gets dispossessed, but Chan plays in Martinez Trio. Oh my god, we've had opportunities, boys. Do not slip up now. Time is ticking away, though. Injury time is. There we are. We've won. We have beat Chelsea at home. Kaichi Goto with the fourth minute goal. Seeing us get the three points today. And that was a little bit of a nervy one. Chelsea didn't really offer too much going forward. But we miss, missed a number of key chances. And with that win, oh, Arsenal haven't played. That's why. But for now, at the very least, we are nine points clear from fifth place Arsenal. We'll take that. I'll see you at the Wolves game. Right, so we're ready for the Wolves game. A couple of changes to the starting eleven as it was last time. Felix Paslak does retain his spot at right back as uh, Keith Lonsdale is injured. I didn't mention that in the last game. Jude Bellingham comes in in the centre midfield spot, dropping down. And Andre Anderson comes in in the attack and midfield spot due to Mauricio Chan being injured on international duty. Ferran Torres comes in on the right-hand side for Thomas Nielsen. Martinez Trio comes on the left-hand side for Alexander Diaz. And that is going to be that. Everything else remains the same. Let's kick off. Now, there's been an early highlight that's went on for about 45 seconds now. Let's see if Football Manager has got... They are going to give us it. Kaichi Goto. I knew it was coming. Kaichi Goto gets his 25th goal of the season and puts us 1-0 up inside a minute. That highlight was going on for far too long. There was always something coming. Ferran Torres bombing down that right-hand side. Gets dispossessed by Anthony Martial. Otto with just the pass back of dreams for us. And Goto is on hand to pounce. He's definitely got the position and the attack and awareness to put that away. 25 goals for the season. He is a special, special player. Our Wolves going to come straight back into this, though. They are on the attack with Anthony Martial. Drives into the box. Good save by Jakob to keep us in the lead. Jesse Lingard with the free kick for Wolves. Plays in at the back post. Patrick Cotron is there, but he heads over. Free kick for us. Kaichi Goto is the man to take it. It's played in. Martin Estrell gets his head on it. Andre Anderson pokes home. He is not offside. He gets his second goal of the season. Up put us 2-0 up against relegation threatened wolves it's not that impressive they're sitting in 19th <laughs> a decent free kick by goto here well won by jose martinez not martinez trio and uh, andre anderson on hand hasn't had the greatest of seasons andre anderson but he's got his goal a dear jesus vasquez has also picked up a slight knock we're not going to take the risk we've got Mika marmel on the bench and that's a substitution i am more than happy to make and time is ticking away on the first half there we are wolves nil birmingham city two arsenal are winning that's the result we need to keep an eye on. Another highlight now. James Garner picks up the ball on the left-hand side. He goes all the way back to Jose Martinez. We are really, really highly pushed up. If Wolves win the ball here, we are certainly screwed. But we don't. Felix Paslak picks up the ball on the right-hand side from Mierde. Gets to the ball and whips the ball in back post. Martinez trio. You've got to be getting that on target, mate. Jesse Lingard brings it down the right-hand side for Wolves. Tries to find Cotronia. <sighs> Jose Martinez. Absolute pass back of death. But thankfully, Jakob is there, and he's just like the best goalkeeper in the world, so he just saves it, you know, it's pretty easy. 
The highlight is continuing with Jude Bellingham coming down the left hand side. I don't believe it's going anywhere. But well, uh, was that highlight worthy? Would you say it was? Maybe. Substitutions incoming. Ferran Torres coming off for Thomas Nielsen. Pablo Martinez trio coming off for Alexander Diaz. I love making that swap. 20 minutes on the clock and Wolves are on the attack down the left hand side. Otto plays the ball in. We managed to get it clear and retain possession. Thomas Nielsen brings it down on the right hand side. Wanyama with a good challenge but Alexander Diaz is the first to it. He's in behind. He doesn't score. Keiichi Goto picks up the ball in the centre of the park but gets dispossessed by Wolves. And are they going to go on the attack? They are. Jesse Lingard picks up the ball on the right hand side. Feeds it through to Catroni who's in behind. And Jakob is just a one man mountain. They're not scoring a day. And time is ticking away. Wolves are not getting back into this game. They've went very attacking, but we don't care. Only one minute remaining on the clock. And uh, maybe it's going to be an opportunity for us. Alexander Diaz wins the ball and drives through behind the defence. And it was a poor shot in the end. Rui Patricio with an easy save. And there we have it full time. Wolves nil at Birmingham City 2. Two wins out of two. We have done what we needed to do with only six games now remaining in the Premier League. Let's see how the other results have affected the table. And there we have it then. Arsenal did get their win away from home against Brighton. So we are still only six points ahead of fifth placed Arsenal. But more importantly, we are now one point ahead of what we've done with Barnsley. So no matter what happens from this point, we are now top of our own leaderboard, beating Barnsley by one point. Of course, we want more than that with six games to go. We expect to be able to push further ahead and open that gap up and hopefully get Champions League football for Birmingham City. In terms of the next episode then, with only six games remaining, you know what's coming. It is the end of season. It will be Southampton or probably just Sheffield United, depending how th how tight things are. If it's still all up for grabs with the final two games to go, I'll bring you the last two. But if not, we'll just play Sheffield United. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.